Hi, in this segment of Ken Dixon's audio archive, we've got a very special recording. It's from June 17th, 1985. And it's Bob Dylan appearing on the Westwood One live call in radio show called Rockline. He's interviewed by host Bob Coburn and takes calls from a variety of people, including myself. So, as you can see on the spine of the tape, this is Dylan Dixon on Rockline. So uh, this was recorded again on a, a boombox next to my bed. But it was my easiest radio recording setup. So it is a master and a low bias tape, but it's pretty cool. So when I got through on the phone lines to Coburn, who screened his own calls, uh, he asked me, well, what's your question for Bob? And I said, while the Grateful Dead have been performing incredible covers of many, many Dylan tunes over the last few years, I'd like to hear Dylan's reaction to it, he, he immediately said, Bob Dylan has no interest in the Grateful Dead, doesn't need to talk about the Grateful Dead. Let's talk about Bob Dylan. This is 1985, right around the time that uh, Dylan was, as he, he described in his book Chronicles, wandering or lost, and that the dead got him back on track. And I have to think that those covers that the dead had been adding to the repertoire were relevatory to Bob, that the songs lived and had another life and that another generation was hearing them. So Coburn rejected the dead question out of hand. I. I was in the REM camp big time, seeing shows like crazy in 85, and that was the prime time for me, 85, 86, I loved REM. So I, I asked about the new folk rock revival spearheaded by REM, again, dismissed out of hand, and Christ, I, I, I almost think Stipe's lyrics, the closest to Dylan-esque of, of the post-punk era. He goes, you're running out of options, Ken. You got one last chance. Ask a question about Bob. And so uh, the Dylan fanzine Look Back, published by local area guide Dr. Robert Whitehouse here in Ohio, who pivotal person in my trading Dylan, you know, music cred life. Uh, that was sitting next to me on the, the, the table where I was sitting and uh, so I asked about the missing album Bob Dylan in concert and as was evidenced in the broadcast anytime anyone asked specifics like the self-portrait outtakes he was questioning he didn't remember much of it he, he did remember in the uh, at the end of the show that uh, Charlie McCoy played harmonica and obviously five believers and was steadfast that wasn't him playing a uh, harp but uh, he, he he had no recollection of this album and uh, so I kind of reminded him and uh, in retrospect Bob Dylan's 115th dream is not my favorite Bob Dylan song but at least got a chuckle out of the master so I hope you enjoy this uh, broadcast and uh, I will never forget getting to ask Bob Dylan a question. A song that's burned into the mind of anyone who went through the 60s like a Rolling Stone originally on Highway 61 revisited. So many of your songs Bob have been re-recorded by other people yet I don't think I've ever heard another version of that have you? Mm -hmm. Of like a Rolling Stone? Is there another yeah. version of that? Jimi Hendrix did it. Oh that's right yeah mm -hmm. of course yeah. A couple other people did. Yeah, and there it. are a couple others. Boy, that's a song that you better do something really fine with it, because that one you just don't mess with. That one's sacrosanct almost. We'll talk to Ken now. He's in Cleveland. Our station's WMMS. Hi. Hi. How are you doing, Bob? I'm doing all right. All right. Um, well, I'd just like to comment. The Young Rascals also did like Rolling Stone. Um, and oh, also, thanks. Also, uh, my favorite songs are 115th Dream off of Bring It All Back Home. <laughs> and that brings me to my other question. Right before the release of that album, there was a rumored album called Bob Dylan in Concert and the rumors are that you know there's a disagreement between you and Columbia over what would be on the album and it was never released. Any chance of us hearing it ever? Mm. Mm, I'm not that must have been some album may have been the second album they they were uh, they asked me to change a few songs I think and uh, 
What? What was that, Ken? The John Birch Society blues material. And um, stuff? I think so. I think they mm-hmm. <clears throat> that they requested that I drop that from the record. You think in these less prudent times that it, it, it could come out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it probably could now. But well, um, can you shoot for it, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> and definite ulterior motive there. <laughs> Fire off a letter to the record company, see where you can get going there, Ken. Yeah, well, they have the rights to that. They They could release it. I bet you'd have a little more push in the matter than I would. <laughs> you might have a point there. <laughs> Thank you for the call, Ken. We appreciate it.